I told you my last landlord was a fucking asshole? Well, I haven't lived there 18 days and uh, he's still a fucking asshole. Two years I was living there, he was trying to sell it. And then I got a notice that I had to be out at the end of my lease in six months because there was new owners. And he was just giving them all of my rent that I gave him. And uh, so at the end of my lease, I give them the keys and I'm like, well, what's the deal with the damage deposit? And they're like, oh, like reach out to Harmon, the guy that you signed the lease with and gave all the money to. And he's like, no, I don't own it anymore. I'm not giving you any money. Talk to the new owners. And so I talked to the new owners and their, their realtor and they're like, what the fuck? Like, that's not in our, that's not anywhere in our contracts at all, anywhere. He has to pay it. And now he's just ghosting me. So I have rich people who own multiple Vancouver properties arguing over who's gonna give the little renter her $1,900 back. It has been very validating though because everyone involved is like, wow, he is a fucking asshole. And I'm like, thank you. That's what I told him a year and a half ago. I'd tell you guys to go watch the Apartment Chronicles on my Instagram, but they deleted my Instagram. Actually, they deleted both the Instagrams that those series were on, so RIP. But even when I first moved in and I took like a piece of paper towel and wiped the wall and it was black. I'll never forget. Or the toilet tank. When I took the lid off the toilet. Rip.